What it do, kings and queens? It's your boy, the UP King, the people's champ, and we back with another video. And today, man, I'm finna tackle these runs or these little sags on this Toyota Corolla. So let's jump right into it. Let's show you what we got and see if we can fix it. All right, so you can see we got a couple little sags. This is single stage paint, and we got some drips over here. So I'm hoping that uh, these will come out just fine. We're gonna tackle these things. Then we're gonna buff and polish them after we cut them and uh, see what the results are gonna be. So let's show you what uh, we actually use to get the job done. All right, so what we are going to use today, which is some simple things, I got one of my blocks, a Dura block. We have a squeegee. Throw that in the water along with my block. We got some uh, 1500 sandpaper. Okay, of course, another block bucket of water and it's just straight water I don't have any soap in here but if you decide that you want to use some soap go ahead I know a lot of people do just for me I'm just going straight plain water and we got us just a regular water bottle so this is what I'm using to uh, tackle those sacks and now I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna get this done all right so Hopefully you can see me uh, as I do this. I might not be all the way in the shot, but hopefully you'll see everything that I can do in this angle. But I'm gonna take my 1500 out of the bucket and I'm gonna start with this block here. Wrapping my paper around my block. You might be able to see a little bit. I'm using the edge and that's what, instead of having it all the way flat, I'm gonna use my edge to kind of break down the heads of the sacks. So got my water bottle. I'm gonna kind of get the surface. Get some water on the surface, get it wet. I already have my sandpaper sitting in the bucket of water. And again, using the edge, I'm just going over the heads of the runs. This here allows me to Not so much be blocking a big area, but a small area by just concentrating on that edge portion and being able to concentrate on the head and nose alone versus a big area that uh, I could be sanding. Reason being, this is a single stage, which means the base and the clear is together. So the material that I'm taking off, I could burn through this very easily if I'm not being careful. So I'm just gonna use the small edge to get the small areas that I wanna get and pay attention to. If you kinda can see I'm going in somewhat of an X pattern, going in one direction, then going in another. Which is gonna kinda of give me that X pattern and kinda of knock the head down 
where I want it. I'm just going to keep on moving until I get all of those heads knocked down like I need to. I've already been able to knock one down. So just take your time, continue blocking out, paying attention to what it is that you're doing. Because you don't want to sit in these areas way too long and start removing too much material. Then end up having to blend this area or repaint this whole area because you burnt through the material. Because remember, you still got to polish this. So you still need material there to be able to polish it. Or your polish can burn through this paint easily as well if it's not enough material there to be polished. So just be mindful of the task at hand I guess. Once we get these down like we want then I'll take the panel or not the panel but I'll take the block and I'll block everything out smooth and even. I just want to focus right now on getting those heads knocked down. So let me go ahead and get these knocked down like I want and we'll jump into the next step. Alright, so I got my squeegee here. Just gonna squeegee off some of this. See how we looking. And I can still see it a tad bit here. But you can see that we knocked those heads down and we got it where we want. So now, and as you can see on the squeegee, again, you see color, that means single stage. If this was just straight up clear, then of course it would be clear and then base you know up under the clear but because you can see the color that means that it's a single stage paint that we're wiping off here so i'm going to now switch my block and uh, begin blocking this out and flattening it out like i want So again, gonna go in an X pattern. And block this section out. And get it straight.
again, as you can see on the sandpaper, just as well as the squeegee, I'm blocking out, you know, single stage paint. And when it's necessary, get some more water. Kind of check your panel again with your squeegee. And kind of keep going back and forth and just checking and seeing where you're at and if you're getting where you want to be. I can still feel it slightly. So I'm just gonna keep working it. So once I've got this where I want it, we'll cut you back on. All right, got it where I wanted it. I got my buffer here. It's just an old polisher from a uh, Harbor Freight. I normally use my Makita, but my Makita is not acting right. So we're gonna go with the Harbor Freight special. I got some wizards here, turbo cut, removes 12 to 1500 scratches, and of course, I showed you that we're using 1500 sandpaper. So we're gonna go with this compound to wheel this uh, section back out. Of course, you can see that I have some uh, compound on the wheel already and gonna kind of work it in on the panel as well as the pad, which is a wool pad that I'm using and uh, we're gonna get it going just like that, kind of like a little pre-start, getting everything together. And uh, let's start wheeling this thing up. to see that little gloss there. That shine is coming right back. And clearly, you don't see those sags anymore. So I'm gonna run across it one more time. And I think we're gonna be good there. Fiber towel, just wiping it down. She's good to go. 
All right, kings and queens. So here it is. Finished panel. Of course, the whole car isn't done, but here's that section where we had the sags, and the sags are gone. So jump in those comments, tell me what you think. Is this something that you can do? I clearly know it is something that you can do. You can do it. And that's a simple, easy way on how to do it and what you need to do. Now, the steps that you take might, might not be exactly as to what I did, but you will get great results. All right, kings and queens. So hopefully this video on how to wet sand sags, runs, trips, all that good stuff out of your finish on a single stage. Hopefully this video helps you out with just one of the processes that I went through on how to do it. Hopefully that helps you out. And if it doesn't, you know, drop me, drop me something in the comments. Let me know what did you think that I could have done better or if it helped you out. Let me know that as well. I definitely want to keep dropping videos that's going to help you with your everyday projects because we go through a lot of these different projects and how we get them painted, what materials to use, and the steps on how to do all of this stuff. And I want to help you out to where you can get those things done, follow those steps, and get your project back on the road. We want to get this stuff finished. Hey, I got projects I want to finish too. So hopefully... All of this stuff that I'm doing helps you out. That's why I'm the people's champ, because I'm trying to help out the people. I'm here to help the people out. So listen, again, hopefully this video helps you out. I'm going to get back to finishing up some more work on this one here so we can get this one on about the door, because it's, it's got to go, man. I'm tired of seeing it. I'm tired of looking at it. It's got to go. So listen, hope you enjoy your day, your, your, your evening, you know, and, 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 and get back to them projects, man. It's, it, it's time. We got to get them ready. Let's go. Let's go. So this is your boy, the UP King, the People's Champ. And we out.